Hey everybody, this is James with Heirloom Aquaponics, giving you guys a tour of our greenhouse here. We wanted to start out with our trough, which is the most beautiful part of the greenhouse right now, I'd say. Uh, we have a lot of our harvestable rafts here. And uh, right now, this is our only trough we have built. Uh, there are plans to put three more or two more troughs in here, eight foot wide. But until then, we're making do with just the one. Uh, this is the lowest part of the system and drains out this way all the way down to where we're going next. So these are different types of Salanova lettuces and then also a romaine over there. There's some sorrel right there. It's starting to look great. Some red butter lettuce. This is our red oak leaf. This is a little experiment I'm doing. Uh, I'm doing these for uh, edible flowers at the restaurant. These guys are just now starting to bloom. But you can see we have a different generation of uh, lettuce here starting on our way down. Some fennel back there. It's a little experiment as well. We'll see how that does. Some arugula and some cilantro some spinach there. Those are some other experiments other than our uh, cell nova. I'm trying to figure out different greens to maybe mix in with our mix. And this takes us over to some other experiments we have. This is a big old blackberry bush uh, that started as a stick and we water with aquaponics water and it's just uh, it's really taken off. I've made a few cuttings off of it and we'll see how those do. Uh, tree that we came, uh, we rejuvenated with aquaponics water as well. So it's amazing. Uh, things just, just love it. Um, some more of these uh, edible flowers. Wanted to make sure that I had some in the soil to be able to compare against. Some microgreens operation here as well. Uh, we have a, f a few different varieties we do, but our two mains are. Uh, the Rambo radishes, which are these red guys, they have a beautiful color. These are uh, going to be ready in probably another day or two. Uh, they grow really quick. They're my favorite ones to grow. And then we have sunflowers here as well. Uh, the restaurant uh, goes through these pretty well, and they, they hold up the best on the, the restaurant line. So they've kind of turned into our standards. Uh, these are some lettuces that we didn't get to, we didn't get to harvest or uh, the transplanting, they got a little too old and um, you always want to make sure that you're transplanting the best stuff into the uh, system because it's your um, it's your money space and so you have to make sure that if it's root bound, which you know those ones will be now uh, you don't want to use it I just used these the other day and that's the last time I'll use these guys and we'll be on now to these uh, healthy looking trays. So these guys, you know, are the same size essentially as these guys over here, but they're uh, at least a week younger. These guys are doing fantastic over here. Um, got some little baby sorrel here on the way. Uh, and then obviously we have uh, another generation here coming back here and then another generation back here. We're trying to get more efficient so we go through fewer of these trays uh, and do half plantings of what we have previously been doing, which is one of our evolutions. We're always trying to get better at what we're doing. Uh, and these over here are going to be obviously the youngest. Uh, we can go through and take a look at some of our root systems as they develop here. Um, these guys went in just literally the other day. Uh, so they're, they have a little bit here going. It's actually kind of amazing how much there is there from just the other day. Um, even just a little further down here, we'll transition into some the, ne the next planting, essentially. 
and uh, you'll see that these guys have a considerable amount more. And you know, what's funny is they don't look that much bigger than those ones over there. But the difference is they, uh, they take a little while to establish the root systems. Uh, I'm actually looking into getting some rafts here that will be almost twice the density for this stage of development and then have a transplant stage out of those more dense rafts into these uh, grow out ones and I can uh, drastically increase my efficiency if I have them growing in the other rafts for a couple weeks or uh, maybe even up to uh, three weeks depending on what I, what I find and then transplanting them out into these ones. Uh, but that's uh, you know in the works. See that these guys now, another planting. They they've started to take off. They're you know they took those root systems that they develop and start growing just amazingly. And you know their root systems are good six to eight inches long right there. And you can start to see it in their growth rate. I find that in my system the red lettuce is growing quicker than the the green lettuce. I'm not sure why, it's uh, something I've noticed. Yeah, these guys have some good mass to them. Uh, another little funny aspect of our system, you know, we're not perfect. This is the first time we've built a commercial trough and you know, we did it the best that we could. And one funny little aspect is this is the lowest part of the system here, the lowest part of the top, I guess. So if our system starts to overflow, it comes over in the center right here which isn't a big deal because you know it's uh it's not going to fall apart but and the rafts don't fall off either which is also something i was worried about but luckily that wasn't the case walk a little further down here see this green lettuce is starting to get bigger it takes longer for it to get to this stage for some reason but you know it has some nice looking you know pearlies Uh, these these uh, marigolds have really cool root systems. They a little thicker um, in radius, you know, they, but they're they're still beautiful. Uh, now we, we're getting into more of the you know harvest size. Uh, these guys, believe it or not, are younger than the ones at the end of the trough, and you know, they start to create just a total you know control mat underneath and we'll just go down here to the very end this is our red oak or green oak leaf and there you go it's, a, it's just a forest down there at this point these guys are old they they're too too big honestly we're 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 producing more than what we can go through uh, I'm really excited about these remains. They're looking beautiful. Um, so we find that we can go through about two restaurants worth of lettuce in just one of these troughs. But we'll go over and take a look at our fish now. Uh, this trough is uh, eight feet wide, 96 feet long. Um, made it with two 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 by tens stacked on top of each other um, Simpson tied on the inside and then and reinforced the three bar it's not you know it's not it's probably not the perfect way of doing everything but it worked for us it's our uh, little mixing station work area storage for all the miscellaneous things so this is our second small tank. The way that the water flows, I guess that's the easiest way to start, would be to, this is the lowest part of our system. Our, our one pump, this is the only pump that runs everything, which is how you want to set it up to have the least amount of uh, energy consumption, ideally. Um, flows up to there. You want to maintain at least five gallons uh, a minute of flow rate. Uh, in an aquaponic system, just for all the biological functions to work properly. Um, just to, the bacteria, just, just a 
what they found is the best through the friendly aquaponics people at least. Uh, we have this net here because uh, we find that trout like to swim and jump upstream and uh, if we don't have this here they, they end up on the floor and we've kept the um, level a little lower because of that. Uh, it's the first big tank. These are 1200 gallon tanks uh, that we kept. We keep aerated those guys up there monitored on a blue lab monitor over there uh, this back here is our uh, propane heater this is our most efficient way of maintaining the temperature of everything uh, we have propane run of this and this has two coil or you know, a coil that comes over to this tank here and the way that we have everything set up with uh, our flow rate this Peter right here is able to maintain the temperature of the entire water supply in this greenhouse uh, with about a three degree fluctuation between this uh, small tank here and then the furthest spot away from it which would be this uh, big tank here. Um, we don't keep the net on this guy as much because they, uh, they don't jump when there's not a flow like there is over there, at least not as yet. Um, and it's easier to feed them that way. But the water flows from this tank here. It's connected by those, uh, I don't know if I showed this, these two. We found we needed um, two of these guys. It's kind of funny. Um, originally we thought we just wanted one, um, but just the way that the, the water movement works, the way we have this set up and plumbed, because these tanks are level with each other, we needed a more radius uh, flow rate, otherwise the tanks we couldn't maintain level. Uh, and we just need this guy, one here. And uh, we have these handy dandy um, filters with some fish food on there. Um, we designed these, uh, essentially a, uh, a vinyl uh, back door screen that you'd use for like a, a, do a dog door or dog screen or whatever. Um, we fashioned that with some stainless steel clamps um, which are safe for aquaponics and uh, I think these are four inch at least uh, PVC fittings um, and this uh, is small enough to keep the fish eggs out uh, but still maintain our water flow coming through everything. Uh, we have a little optional out valve here so we can irrigate stuff on the outside. Um, yeah, it helps just being able to have access and it has pretty good pressure if we tap into that. Um, this is our 25 foot wide by um, five foot tall evaporative cooler water wall. Um, this thing's magic in our climate. Um, Eastern Colorado, it is dry, dry, dry and um, it is very, very effective at uh, changing the temperature of the air outside as it draws everything into those 48 inch fans on the far side over there. So that water just flows into this tank, which we found the same exact problem was true on this one with our plumbing. So we had to install a secondary uh, two inch um, through valve and then the same type of uh, filter here that we designed that uh, drains out this way and we didn't quite have enough space for our last raft here it's in one of those little funny things uh, but then our flow rate just matches what the pump is up there because everything just drains by gravity down through the whole system and as it tops off there it drains here at the same rate once it's all flowing and Heads all down there. Uh, so, so, drop a like, subscribe, do all that YouTube stuff. Let me know if you have any questions, and I'll be making some more videos based on some comments.